and today we're going to go through a feature that I like using in firmware where we separate the supports from the model when we export it I use this majority of the time when I'm importing the file into a Sega Composer to overcure the supports as you can see we've got a 6 claw with thread and grain setting As we quickly run through this model, you can see that there's islands at the very start of the claws. So this is not attached to any other part of the model and will be printed in thin air. My routine is always start with a base sprue. One feature I would love firmware to implement is the addition of symmetry supports. As you can tell, I'm going to have to do the left side of the ring and then the right side of the ring. I generally do this as four sets of supports. So you've got the two bottom and the two top. Anywhere marked with red is an interference with the model and you have to move them out. Now I'll quickly do the other side. Generally, this is the only amount of support you need for this kind of model. To help with casting and flow of metal, I add an extra support in the center. This is an optional step and doesn't need to be done if you don't want to. Then we're going to export our model. And select export each part as separate file. We also want to select export supports as separate files. We're going to add the part into a SQL Composer software. The reason that we separate the supports and the model is so that we can use the feature to overexpose the supports, meaning we can get away with smaller supports, which helps for filigree designs, mill grain, and also designs like a snake skin. We 
when you select open support file. As we can see the support file has been imported into a Seager as the supports are a different color to the model. When we send the build to the printer, We want to go to advanced settings and support exposure. As you can see, there's burn in and normal layers. The maximum is 400%. I set mine to 200. As you can see, this changed the exposure time. This will increase the time when you print but if you've got a fine filigree or mill grain design, it is well worth the wait. 